Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. It's Pentecost Sunday. Acts 2. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as of fire appeared to them and rested on each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And in Acts 4, Now, Lord, look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Jesus built his church, his ecclesia, just how he wanted it, with Holy Spirit fire and power. My prayer today is simply this. Do it again, Jesus, for this generation. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the promise of your Holy Spirit, that we could be clothed with power from on high. Jesus, thank you for Calvary and for your instruction to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit, we need you today more than ever. If we're going to see a new harvest of souls in this present darkness, we need Holy Spirit power. We need you, Holy Spirit, to once again confirm the Word of God with signs and wonders. And we pray, Lord, look on what's going on around us in our families, in our cities, in our nation, in the world, and grant to your servants that with all boldness we may speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of Jesus. And Lord, shake your church, your ecclesia, once again. Fill us all with the Holy Spirit that we may speak your word with boldness. Send a greater anointing. Jesus, our eyes are on you as we pray in your mighty name. Amen.